Are you tired of struggling through the early stages of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? Or do you just want to get some really cool looking and powerful gear early on from as soon as you leave the Great Sky Island tutorial area? Well, you're in luck because in this video guide, we're going to be showing you some amazing tips and tricks for getting overpowered early on in the game. With the awesome champion's leather armor piece, which just looks great, as well as the royal guard set, a ton of strong weapons, and even an extremely powerful 36 damage spear. So from looking awesome and having higher defense to unlocking powerful weapons, we'll teach you everything you need to crush your enemies and dominate early on. Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting out, these items are sure to take your playthrough to the the next level especially early game. You can do this as soon as you unlock the Skyview Towers after visiting the Outlook Town. So it's basically right at the start of the game after finishing the Great Sky Island area. So let's dive into the best ways to get overpowered early in the game. But do you know another way to get overpowered early in the game? There's a hidden way to get a massive buff on your chests and drops. It's by hitting the like button down below. It's a 100% real buff, so definitely hit that like button and try it out in game. But jokes aside, let's get back to it. Firstly, if you want this extremely strong Zonite Spear, then you'll need to head over to the Maya Chideg Shrine, which is located near the Canalette Ridge. And an easy way to get there is by skydiving and gliding from the Skyview Towers to cover large areas of the map. And and to make this super quick and easy, you're going to want some stamina elixirs which will need to get all of these items including the champion's leather and Hylian shield anyway, so you may as well start farming these now since they make everything easier and possible. Right outside of Outlook Landing, you can use any weapon to chop the grass in this area. This way you will find Restless Crickets, which are a needed material for our stamina elixirs. So make sure to spam A quickly when you see them after chopping because they run away really fast. I would suggest collecting around 20 or 30 of them, but to be honest, you can never have too many stamina elixirs anyway, so more is better. The next material to make elixirs is Bokoblin Horns, which you can get from most Bokoblin enemies around the map. So search nearby and you'll find a few camps or patrols of them pretty quickly, defeat them and take those horns. Next, you can easily Either place down a cooking pot and make it here, or go back to Outlook Landing, down inside the hole, and find the little kitchen area. Go up to the pot, and then open up your inventory, press X, and select the Bow Coblin Horn and up to three or four of the Restless Crickets. Really, you can experiment here as you like, but since we only have one stamina bar early on in the game, three to four of the Restless Crickets is perfect to fully refill our stamina. Ideally, you want to make four or five of these elixirs, but again, more is better and will make your life easier when gliding and getting across the map. So now that you've crafted up your elixirs, gliding around the map is so much easier, so getting to the previously mentioned Mayachi Deg Shrine is even easier. This shrine is a hunt shrine and it will not let you use any gear inside, so it's perfect for early game because we don't have any just yet. You'll need to use the Ultra Hand and the Little Zonai devices to beat all of the enemies inside. So once you go in, pick up the stick and then use the spikes on the nearby Zonai Roombas, hit them with the stick and let them deal with the enemy. You'll be kiting a lot in here, so make sure to run away to safety and let these little devices do their work. After beating the first guy, however, you will then need to place them into the next room so they can start going towards more enemies. But you're going to want to follow where I go because there's a laser attachment which is going to make this so much easier. You basically want to follow my path and do as I do, attach the laser beam attachment onto the device, and then carry it around with the ultra hand to beam the enemies down. Make sure to kite them and beam them, and you should be able to do this relatively easily. It may take a couple tries, but it's pretty easy once you get the flow of it.
After this, you have then completed the shrine and unlocked this insanely powerful weapon for early and even mid game, but it gets even better. Next, I'm going to show you how to get a full armor set early on and more strong weapons. Hopefully you've farmed out those stamina elixirs that we mentioned earlier in the video because we're going to need them now too. Mark this area on your map in Hyrule Castle. Yes, we're going to Hyrule Castle, but don't worry, you won't be fighting anything and this is pretty easy to do. Use the Skyview Tower in Outlook Landing to shoot up into the sky. Pop your glider as soon as you can, and then start flying towards the marker that we just made. You can release the glider to save some stamina as you go, but you don't want to fall too far down otherwise you won't make it onto the castle, so do just as I do until you land. After you have landed, now it's time to run into the castle. Again, don't worry, we're not going to be fighting anything. You'll want to get fully inside of the castle and then make your way up to the statue above the stairs. Up here there are two braziers to light on fire. Use whatever means you have to do this. Personally, I use arrows with fire fruit and it's super easy. Lighting both of them will then unlock our first chest below the statue. This gives us the amazing champion's leathers, which just look really cool. It has five defense on it and it's pretty iconic, so you'll definitely be glad to have this. But there's even more in this room. There's a bunch of weapons, so follow my path and grab these items next. You're going to get a powerful spear, shield, sword, even a bow, and there's a chest at the end for some rubies. After this, you're going to want to mark where I do on the map. This is our next location to go to. Once it's marked, make your way through the doorway and follow my path. Don't worry, there are still no enemies. This will take you to Princess Zelda's room and inside of it, you will actually find a chest with our next armor piece. The Royal Guard Cap not only looks cool, but is also a nice upgrade for us with four defense. There's also a bow above the fireplace and a very strong claymore in here, so make sure to grab that too. Next, we'll be marking the location of a shrine. This is great because it gives us a fast travel point and it's the location of the next gear piece. Use Ascend to get back onto the roof of the building we're at, and then follow my path as we glide. There are some enemies here. However, you can just run and with a little side stepping, you can easily avoid their attacks. So make sure to not run out of stamina as you run and keep moving side to side. Just copy me. Make sure to interact with this shrine as it becomes a nice fast travel point, but don't go inside of it. Instead, go back down to the entrance below and follow my path.
Here you'll find a secret bookcase that's blocking a hidden room. Use Ultra Hand to move it out the way and grab that chest inside. And now you have a full armor set with some great defense and it's even better than that because it's pretty nice looking fashion too. Next up though, we're going to go for the Hylian Shield. So mark this area on your map and follow my gliding path exactly as I do so you can easily make it inside. Once you are inside, there's a little trick that you can do to get past these scary enemies. Just aggro them towards you and fall down below and hang on the wall. After a short wait, they will actually just disappear and you can even loot their drops. After this, make your way up the stairs and make sure to dodge the gloom. Here you will see another brazier that needs lighting, so light it with fire however you want. I use a normal arrow with the torch nearby to light the end of it. Then after lighting it, the next chest is yours which includes the incredible Hylian shield. This is absolutely awesome to have, especially this early in the game. And just like that, you have an amazing looking set with great defense, a bunch of good weapons, even a bow, and the amazing spear that we got at the beginning. This is truly how you become overpowered early on in the game, so I really hope this helps you with your playthrough. And if it does, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe for all the other guides we have coming your way soon. The two videos on screen now we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. Of course, you don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.